Who do you want to go see? Out! Okay, let's go! Oh. <gasps> Wait, what's on the door? Bobos! Bobos? Where are the elves? Day number seven. Ho 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 he he, little Ava. We'll look under the Christmas tree. <laughs> what? It's a rainbow. Oh boy. What is it, honey? We are getting so close to Christmas. So today, it's a get it all done with me video. I need to get organized. I need to get all of my ducks in a row. So I am organizing my house. I'm making my list. I'm checking them twice. I have some baking to do. I have some wrapping to do. I have schoolwork to do. I have so much to do. So come along with me and let's get it all done together. I hope today gives you lots of mommy motivation to start getting everything organized for Christmas because on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, I want us to put up our feet and relax and just enjoy the magic of Christmas. I have to stop chatting because I have way too much to do. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Angela and I like to do videos about motherhood, family and lifestyle and Christmas and getting organized for Christmas. So make sure you click that like and subscribe button down below and also hit that bell for notifications. Okay, let's get going. So I am in our playroom slash schoolroom and it is filled with Ava's toys. Now one thing that I've been wanting to do for a little bit now is start to make a pile of toys to donate. And I'm starting to teach Ava how important it is to give back. So I thought what a good way is that I'm gonna go through Ava's toys and kind of make a pile of ones that I know for sure she's not playing with anymore. And then we have to donate them. And by doing this, Ava has to learn that she has to start giving back to other little girls and boys as well who need toys. So <laughs> this room is tough because I already went through it in August and I don't know how many toys in here. Like she has lots of bits and pieces here. Come check this out. In these bins are a lot of oh, a random doll, like bits and pieces of stuff. So like all these dollhouse pieces that I actually don't know if she plays with anymore. So some stuff may actually be to donate and some stuff may actually just be garbage of their bits and pieces. So I'm gonna go through this and get organized because then I think I'll feel a lot better come Christmas and I know her aunties and uncles and her cousins and she's gonna get presents from everybody. So I just wanna make sure that I have room for all these presents. And this has been bugging me, so this is on my list. Let's talk about stuffed animals. And I'm as guilty as anybody for getting Ava like a new Olaf. I got her the new Minion toy, but she has so many stuffies that she just doesn't play with. A lot of stuffies I know aren't good quality, so I just gotta get rid of them. I know that some donation places absolutely do not accept any stuffed animals, so 
I'm gonna put them to the side, do a little bit more research, figure out what I'm gonna do, but she has too many stuffies. No more stuffies. <laughs> and I only found like three <laughs> only three to donate here's my there's my sad little there's my sad little pile there I guess three is better than none however I uh yeah I'd be giving more away but she actually does play with everything like I do have a bag of garbage like random puzzle pieces that don't go anywhere anymore so I've gotten rid of that all of these I'll show you guys are organized so these are all her cars these are some puzzles and stuff that she does play with this is all her dollhouse furniture her tea party stuff some random toys this is all like her doctor set and her purses and explorers kit that she uses like every day and then these are her musical instruments that we use for preschool her kitchen obviously she needs everything for her kitchen she loves her flashlight, she loves her picnic basket. She loves this little bucket for some reason. Hmm, she takes around her cleaning caddy when I'm cleaning. Lego's not going anywhere. That bin is empty, so that's good. She plays with that every day. Her grocery cart she plays with, her doll cart. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of stuff, but she actually does play with us all. So at least it's organized, <laughs> at least I tried that. So now I'm going to go change my sheets. I have to fold a load of laundry and then I'm gonna start making my meal plan and my grocery list, start getting ready because I think I'm gonna place my order to pick up my groceries on the 22nd. And then I think the 23rd, we're probably gonna do a drive-by, drop off gifts to my family, so at the 24th, we got nothing to do. Hey, gotta keep going. laughing now because this festive Q&A that Mayor and I did yesterday is causing a great amount of debate between many family members now. Even online, I'm getting messages about when it's the right time to open up Christmas presents. Is it Christmas Eve? Is it Christmas Day? What do you do? When does Santa officially come? So my sister-in-law and I were just going back at it. She's like, Mirik's right. It's Christmas Eve. And I'm going, no. <laughs> I love it. This debate about when does Santa come. Hmm. If you guys haven't seen this video, I'll put a link to it right here. Make sure you guys go check it out because it is quite funny. And I love learning about other people's Christmas traditions. But I know I'm right. Santa comes after you go to bed, right? All the carols say it. The night, even the poem, the night before Christmas, Mama and her kerchief and I and my cat had just set all brains for a long winter's nap. Hmm. See? Proof. So I'm not gonna get around to baking any Christmas cookies today. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I have my yearly traditional sugar cookies I'm making. I'm gonna make some whipped shortbread, some peanut butter cookies. So we have a big baking day tomorrow, so make sure you guys stay tuned. However, I have this big bag of apples. So I'm gonna make some apple bread right now, and then I'm also gonna cut up these apples and freeze them because Ava really likes applesauce, and then the applesauce is good to use in muffins and everything later on in the year. So I'm gonna try and get rid of this bag of apples now, okay?
bread that we're gonna make. I greased and floured this nine by five bread pan. In a small bowl, I'm gonna combine half a cup of brown sugar and let me just confirm, and one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon together. Does that smell good? That smells good. I wanna help you. Okay, pour this in. I will. Okay. Next, I'm gonna combine half a cup of melted unsalted butter and two thirds cup of white sugar. Okay, now pour, and I'll pour it up, pour this in. Woo! Butter! two eggs into a bowl and combine that with two teaspoons of vanilla and whisk that all together. Okay, so now we're gonna add in these eggs to that butter and sugar mixture. Okay, so do you wanna mix or do you wanna pour? Mix. Okay, so turn on the mixer. Okay, next I'm gonna combine one and a half cups of flour and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder into this butter mixture. Okay, now I'm gonna slowly combine in half a cup of milk to my mixture that now has my flour and baking powder. So next I'm gonna pour in half the batter to my prepared loaf pan. Then on top of that batter, I'm gonna put my apples and cover that with half of the cinnamon sugar mix. Then cover that with the rest of the batter. Next up, I'm gonna pour in the rest of the batter over top of my apples and cinnamon. Sugar and flour. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Is that what Ava's made of? I'm gonna go back. Ooh. Right next, I'm gonna take up the rest of that cinnamon and sugar and pour it on top of this bread. <laughs> now I'm gonna cook up this apple bread at 350 for about 50 minutes or until a toothpick is inserted and pulls out completely clean. Abe is excited because she's just turning on the Christmas lights, but our apple bread is done and our house smells so good. Give up, high five. You sound like a monkey. Is there yeah. a monkey? That smells delicious. Doesn't it? Goodness. Like, oh my goodness. Is there like ice in there? No. Holy. It smells amazing. That is just remarkable. Honestly, you guys need and to smell this. It smells so good. I'll do my toothpick test. Comes out clean. Mommy, I want to. Okay, We're all just eating this apple bread, you guys. It is ridiculous. <laughs> so good. The Miric does not eat sweets. Oof. Like the only thing he eats rarely is maybe some sugar cookies or like 
yeah, that's basically all he ever eats. And he just devoured this apple cake, apple cake, it's not apple cake, this apple bread. My house smells better than a candle. It's so good. So I think I'll be making this probably a couple times over Christmas holidays. It smells so good. <laughs> Ava, did you like it? Is it tasty? She's watching a show before bed. So good. Highly recommend. Like maybe like a scoop of ice cream for the kids. Oh, yeah. A scoop of, and the best thing is, is that I put butter over top of it when I sliced it, so the butter melted. Oh, so good. Oh, I can't, magic. I can't wait to have that with a cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> Breakfast is ready. So Ava is in bed now, and I'm gonna take advantage of this time. Usually, Mirik and I like to snuggle up on the couch and watch our shows, but I'm just gonna hang out right now with Ellen Alfonso and I am going to do our meal plans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plan through Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day and kind of that time in between Christmas and New Year's and get ahead so that I can place my grocery order and I'm gonna probably pick up my groceries on the 22nd. I'm hoping to do an online order. Now, I don't need a lot because a lot of things I kind of picked up last grocery order. So what I do need, I'll probably need like essentials, like our milk, our bread, eggs, juice, and some butter probably, but then just some special things that we want for Christmas Eve, especially for Mirak on Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day, our Christmas breakfast. So I'm just gonna start and get ahead and make my little meal plans. Now, if you guys saw my video yesterday, Mirak and I actually did a festive Q&A you guys should really watch that because it'll give you some insight into Christmas Eve is really his night and it's his traditions. Obviously we're not seeing his family. So his mom, bless her heart, she made homemade pierogies so we can check that off the list, but everything is meatless. So I have a couple things that we're gonna do for Christmas Eve and then Christmas day is usually my day, but our favorite meal on Christmas day is actually the Christmas breakfast that we make. So I'm gonna get working and I'm gonna get meal planning. So I think that I'm really ready to go. So now I'm gonna make up my grocery list and then tomorrow I'll go through my cabinet, make sure that I have everything I need or I'm not doubling up on something. Then I'll put my order in for my groceries to pick up on December 22nd. So I have snuck downstairs because Ava's sleeping and I'm gonna take this time and I'm gonna wrap my nieces and nephews presents. I feel like if I just do a little bit every day instead of doing everything all at once, I will feel better, less overwhelmed. So I have my fire on gonna pop on another movie. I feel like watching Home Alone tonight. And I'm gonna get wrapping some presents. Okay, so all of my nieces and my nephew are all done and I have one parcel that I need to ship. So yeah, we're in good shape. Thank you so much for watching today's Vlogmas and this get it all done with me video. But remember, do it at your own pace. Don't do it at somebody else's pace. Whatever you're comfortable with, I am really trying to just get ahead and get organized because I am just craving simplicity. I'm craving calm and peace. It's like silent light, all is calm, all is bright. I just want a peaceful Christmas. I'm just trying to really keep it simple. Even with our mini plan, that's 
simple for me, it may be different for you, or maybe you're gonna go really extravagant, or maybe you're just gonna keep it easy and make pizza. Actually, that sounds really good. Pizza for Christmas, hmm. You know what, whatever is gonna make you guys happy and whatever is going to make you have a wonderful, magical, memorable Christmas with your family is what matters. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 18. Mwah! Good night.